Jay first, just Justin May. Level excitement to see him back out there coming out of Tommy John surgery. Um, I, I think we're all excited for Dustin. Um, you know, there's going to be some. He, he's an uh, emotional guy, and certainly with what he's had to go through um, and to make his uh, season debut here, I know he's going to be excited. There's going to be a lot of adrenaline, and I'm, I'm excited for what he's accomplished and had to uh, go through to get back to this point. Is there something that you're looking forward to seeing most from him on the mound today? You know, I, I think a little bit, I'm, I'm expecting some extra adrenaline emotion, um, but I think for me is just making sure he kind of can harness it um, and, and stay in the strike zone, um, not lose that uh, fastball arm side too often, and um, kind of stay in the zone. That's kind of what I'd be looking for. The Marlins, they had an injury, so there's new starters going to be Brian Cohen. How do you have to adjust in such a quick manner when you have a new Steve starter coming in and a starter that there's not as much information? Yeah, um, that's more of, you know, our hitting guys have dug in the last couple hours on what we can gather. Um, I didn't change the lineup too much. I, I uh, let the guys know before who was going to play today, um, but their starter changed from a lefty to a right-hander. So I kind of left it the same. Um, but as far as like preparing for the starter, you know, we're trying to kind of go on the fly. I know you had said that you sort of communicates with Dustin that he's not a savior, but how much of a game changer is he for your rotation if he is the type of guy you want to raise the um, as, as far as pure talent, um, he's a game changer. Um, he just hasn't had a ton of experience. And so, you know, certainly it takes talent, but you also have to be in, in big league situations and navigate big league hitters uh, to be a game changer. So I think as far as talent alone and what he's done uh, in spurts at the big league level have been fantastic. Um, so I just don't want to be the one to put any undue expectations on him uh, solely on talent. So he's got to go out there and pitch well. Kate, when you look back at that May 1st last year, what do you recall the aftermath, not just for himself, the way you felt with the team? I think my, the first part of it was I was very um, sad for him. It was a gut punch because you talk about the talent, where you're at, what he potentially could do for us going forward in that year uh, was exciting. And he was throwing the heck out of the baseball. And then so for it to go down like that, it, it was a gut punch for all of us. And uh, I just felt really bad for him. I know these surgeries are routine, but how, how, how have you gained an appreciation over the years for what these guys go through to get back to the next year? Yes, yes. Um, surgeries, obviously, with the medical, the doctors, they've done a great job and, and guys coming back and performing. Um, but as a player, uh, you feel isolated, ostracized, and you feel like you're not a part of things. That's tough mentally. Um, I think we do as good a job as anybody trying to keep guys feeling valued and relevant getting them in town with us when, when we can, but it's hard. And so uh, all those emotions kind of play into now I'm back, and which is going to lead to some adrenaline, extra emotion tonight, but that's a tough road. Not to get too ahead of ourselves here, but looking at October, I know obviously you guys have used pitchers in different types of roles and stuff. Given that he's coming off Tommy John, is there anything that you would be reluctant to have him do? You know, say if he's, I mean, would you have be reluctant to use him out of a pen? Maybe if you're okay with that, would you know, would it have to be like a clean inning? I mean, yeah, I, I think um, I think the the most important thing is Dustin's health. And so as nothing is guaranteed, I'm very confident in saying um, trying to get him as regimented um, on some type of predictable schedule gives him the best chance to perform and be healthy. Um, so obviously that kind of leads to being a starter. Um, Everything's on the table, as it should be, with our ball club and the pitching, because he would certainly be a weapon out of the pen. Uh, Dustin has also said he's open to doing whatever he can to help our ball club as we look out. 
Um, so having his understanding, the buy-in is certainly helpful. And then we as an organization got to figure out what's best for the player. So right now, I think we just want to get through a handful of starts and see where we're at and kind of make a decision sort of mid-September we'll, we'll kind of make a decision on that. You'll, kind of, you'll need five, given the schedule of the CS, right? You will need five guys at some point? For the CS, we will um, for the, with for a potential seven game. Uh, for the DS, we'll need four. It's hard, like, along with the line, what do you need to see out of half or Um... Outside of health, I, I think just how he's navigating lineups. Um, verse right, verse left, the strike throwing, the command, um, those are things that we're going to keep a uh, keen eye on. Is there a reason you wanted Austin? So Austin, uh, I made that decision a week ago in the sense of uh, having Will catch Friday, having him catch on Sunday versus Alcantara, and how do I keep Austin involved? So the Saturday um, versus Braxton was going to be the day, um, and having Will D8. So that was I was going to leave it the same. Did Clayton come out of yesterday? Okay, he did. He did. Uh, arm feels great. Um, back, I think just a, just some normal soreness. But uh, I just talked to uh, Tom's the head trainer and said that Clayton came out of it, uh, couldn't be happier. I saw Danny Duffy pitch today, did he rise from the <laughs> No, he, he, uh, he was in Arizona uh, in a sim game, touch 93, came out of it really well. Um, Victor Gonzalez uh, is going to throw uh, today in OKC, so that's a good thing. Uh, Kane Lee threw a sim game. Uh, he's going to throw another one tomorrow, and his last one, I think he touched 97, so he's on the come. Uh, obviously, Bruce Starr, we're expecting him to be back on Monday with us, and then I think Blake's throwing tonight, so uh, guys are kind of uh, moving forward. Why did the other day, I guess, he thought Duffy had a setback? No, he, he was, there was some soreness. Oh, okay. There was just some soreness, so I think it was more of the soreness is... He was done for the year, which is not my was not my intention. So um, it was some soreness, which players go through, and he and he came back and threw the baseball really well. Is Kaylee close to rehab assignment? His baseball is already. Uh, yes. Yeah. I, I don't know when he's gonna go out, but it's soon. Yes. Is Craig available tonight? Yep. Yeah. Craig's available. I wanted to stay away from him for yesterday, but available tonight. Do you still think that Danny Duffy could be done for the year, or now that he's been throwing, do you think that they're going to Oh, yeah, and I do. I, I do. Um, and I, my thought on that didn't change, even with uh, the Swarm, that one outing. Um, you know, we're going to have a full roster. Um, but I know Duffy's uh, Duff's, uh, expectation is to help us at some point, and uh, that's my hope as well. Is it fair to say? What's that? Um, I, I think for Dustin, he threw 70 pitches in his last outing, and then he threw 10 in the pen. Uh, I, I think for me, 5 and 75, I, I, I don't see us going beyond that. Is it fair to say that one of the reasons you guys didn't make a move, big move for a pitcher at the deadline was because May was coming back? I, I think May, Trine, and Gratterall, uh, Kane Lee, all those guys are pretty big drivers in that, yeah. Now, you know, you mentioned kind of a lack of experience, obviously, you know, now it's also on top of that, you have time off, coming off the surgery. Um, I don't know, is there any kind of like, I don't know, trepidation on your part, putting so much faith in a guy? Like, it seems like it's asking a lot for a guy. Well, I, I'm not the one putting a bunch of faith uh, or over kind of expectations, because um, I understand that. And I think we as the organization understand that. Um, he hasn't pitched in over a year uh, in a major league game. So to then now come up and expect him to be lights out for the next month and a half, we hope that, and I'm sure Dustin expects that. Um, we have a lot of good pitchers. Um, so what we're trying to do is give him the best chance to have success, whatever that means. So I, I don't think internally we're feeling like, uh, 
you know, he's going to go out there and just from pitch one dominate. And but that's again, that's our hope. Well, it's, it's. I mean, you guys have a big lead in the division. It's about getting ready for the twelve. Yeah. Um, it, what about I guess is maybe makeup tells you, okay, despite all the things that I just kind of mentioned right now. That he could be like you know not just a guy but a key guy for you. Yeah, October. I, I think as far as uh, well, I think two things. I think the one part of it is that we have enough of a runway to get his feet wet, give a runway to then have a better uh, idea of what we're going to get in October. That's one part. Um, the other part is that he's already pitched in October in the World Series, and the the most important part is that. His uh, confidence in his own uh, abilities, and this is a very confident young man who uh, doesn't run from uh, doesn't run from it. So I think that having a person believe in what he can do and surpass any expectation that we might have for him, I think that gives us all confidence. With, with Gossman and Anderson. You know, I think, right, uh, you know, obviously they don't have, like, the track records. Um, as they keep pitching, continuing to pitch like us, is it becoming kind of more real, so to speak? And, you know, given, again, like, the last, right, for Gonsolin, the October last time wasn't great, right? Um, but if, as he keeps going on like this, does he become, I don't know, somebody, I guess, you can yes, be yeah, more yeah. comfortable? Yes, I, I think uh, for Gonsolin specifically, um, Tony is a completely different person and pitcher than he was in 2020. That's a fact. Um, what he's done this year has cemented that and validated to not only us but to himself. And he's a four-pitch pitcher, so I have we have all the confidence in him um, in the postseason this year. Uh, with Tyler hasn't had any posting experience in my opinion I don't I mean I think I don't think he has um, he's a veteran pitcher who is a very great competitor I don't think any moment is too big for him and so for me what he's done this year I don't think there's any trepidation for him or or Tony in any capacity thanks guys yeah thanks guys thanks sir.